6.54 p.m. Central Time. It's uh, 6.58 p.m. We are just, we are almost in Olton. Sorry, dude. I didn't hear you, Eric. Okay, it's uh, zero Z. We are just outside of Olton. We're actually in Olton looking due west. It's going to go to our east. Hey, that's pretty close. You mean it's going to pass to our north? Uh, no, to our east. It's going to cross the road. Yeah, because it's due south of it. I saw a power flash down there. I can see the circulation at the ground pretty well. Through the VX. It's pretty impressive at the ground to be honest with you. I don't know why it's not more visible. Yeah, I can see debris flash. Turn the music off so we can hear it. Is that okay? Black deer. Pretty close. Yeah, I guess. Car. Yes. Watch other vehicles, Eric. A 
big is it? Big, there's debris way up in the air. Lofted debris. It disappeared in the funnel. Still a big tornado. 010Z. East of Olton by about six miles. Tornado is back to our North northwest. north northwest, probably five miles away, still on the ground. Contrast is improving, Eric. Alright. Ready? Yeah. So I sure don't want to miss the two tornadoes at the same time here in a minute. I don't No, I think we're okay until we reach that road. Is there no way to go north past that road? It doesn't look like it. That sucks. Immediately west of my road here, like about 100 yards, I'm gonna have a, I've got new tornado juices now occurring about two miles southeast of the original tornado. Okay, we say west side I mean, we're, we're pretty good at that road. Yes, Harry, yes. The new tornado's gonna form about seven miles to the north northeast. It, the new tornado is going to be uh, Highway 1444 and just southeast of 145 is where the new tornado circulation is developing. It's going to be south of 145 and east of Fort Cowley, 1444. Give me just a second with this. I'm going to piss someone on. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 